American singer-songwriter Tom Petty passed away last week after a highly successful musical career. One of the songs that became popular in Tom Petty's career was a song titled I Won't Back Down. This is what it sounded like. Well, I won't back down. No, I won't back down. You can stand me up at the gates of hell, but I won't back down. Now in that song, Tom Petty was probably singing about the injustices and challenges we face as we go through life on this earth. In a similar vein, the Apostle Paul in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 13 said these powerful words. Therefore, put on the full armour of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Paul was probably referring to the challenges we face in our spiritual walk, in our walk with God, the spiritual attacks that come against us. And the imagery here given in this passage is that of a soldier who is filled with the armor of God and who has taken his stand on the battlefield and he has decided, I'm going to stand firm here. I'm not going to give up no matter what comes against me. I'm going to hold fast. I won't budge. I'm going to stand firm and I won't back down. I'm going to fight this battle and win this battle. That's the imagery we get of a hardened soldier. And isn't it true that as Christians, we too are soldiers fighting in the army of God? So when challenges come our way, when spiritual attacks come our way, when trials come our way, let's take a clear decision that we will never ever back down. I think that's exactly what Paul the Apostle was trying to say in this passage. In Daniel chapter 6, we find that Daniel, the man of God, the prophet of God, was placed in a very precarious position. Darius, who was ruling over that part of the land, had appointed 123 people to rule. And in fact, he was thinking of placing Daniel above everybody else, something like being the prime minister of that part of the kingdom. And it was a wonderful place to be in. At this time, the others also who were due for promotion got jealous of Daniel. And they began to plan a devious plan that would bring Daniel into a very precarious situation. In fact, he would have to either back down from his commitment to God or else he would have to face the lions. But Daniel refused to back down. This man, the lion-hearted Daniel, was willing to face the lions for the sake of his faith in his God. And as Daniel was put into that lion's den, God intervened supernaturally. He sent an angel. And I don't know what really happened. Maybe there was a tranquilizer given to all those lions. Maybe they were commanded to go on a 12-hour fast. Maybe, they were just, maybe their mouths were just shut up. Or maybe they just lost their appetite. Well, whatever it was, Daniel was kept safe by the power of God, by a supernatural work of God. Friend, what fiery trials are you facing in your life right now? What battles have come against you? What attacks have come against you? Let us know that the Bible says, if God be for us, who can be against us? And 1 John says, for this cause was the Son of God manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Nothing that comes against you is greater than the power of God that operates in you. Therefore, as the scriptures say, God has not given to us a spirit of fear, but of power. So we can stand firm. We can refuse to back down. And we can hold on because God will give us victory in every trial that comes against us, no matter how hard it may be. Therefore, never ever back down. That's why James tells us, resist the devil and he will flee from you. The devil may come like a roaring lion, but if so, you introduce him to the lion of Judah. The devil may come pretending to be the king of beasts, but you introduce him to the king of kings. And in the power of Jesus, we are always victorious. Never, ever back down. God is always on your side. God bless you.